chart out everything to, to really actually go through it and play it. Oh, good. So That's it's very exciting. Cool. Uh, it's a little different than what you heard on, okay. the, on the iPhone. So, okay. Now, I was asking them, do you like listening to it loud? Hey, yeah, however you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just push play? I believe so, sir. Okay. All right, here we go. You want to hear it? Yeah. It's a little different. Catchy tune that is Johnny Van Zant, uh, head uh, the lead of uh, Leonard Skinner there with a Ron DeSantis song. Good for some good old uh, propaganda there to prop up and make him look like a cool rock star. And then not really a rock star, just having a song made about him. Uh, he continues on trying to make DeSantis look good in the face of all this controversy and back and forth that he's been going through. Watch. I will tell you this, man, nothing slaps like a song about Dr. Fauci. Fauci. Um, is this on is this on your playlist, Adrian? Okay, so it is not on my playlist, but just for a little uh, deeper understanding and history lesson, this isn't anything new for Leonard Skinner or this Van Zant gentleman who is the head of the band. Because as we know, back in the day, uh, they had that big Confederate flag, which was kind of like that big thought for Leonard Skinner and who they were. And Neil Young, who pushed back on Spotify when it came to Joe Rogan and whatnot, he had written songs called Southern Man and Alabama back in the 60s that were essentially an attack on the racist South and what they had done with slavery and how they treat people. And so Leonard Skinner had to respond with their song called Sweet Home Alabama. And so this has been going on forever in terms of Leonard Skinner. And I am not surprised that they are uplifting this racist man down in Florida and continuing to maintain these systems of oppression because that's kind of what Leonard Skinner does. It just sucks because it's like there's so much talent with that band. It's sad that they use it to be a cover for white supremacy. When you seek out your racist brothers, you find your racist brothers, especially when you're pushing. And we, we know those happen with the Disney legislation and the fight with Disney down in Florida uh, that Ron DeSantis is having. He thinks it's a, a ticket to the presidency. We'll see, because also I'm sure many people are gonna be enjoying that song and talking about Dr. Fauci. Uh, 